Hi right, guys, hope you're all doing well. A quick one before we start. I've started a new channel and it is basically going to be Brit Lane only with no music. I didn't want to keep putting videos of no music on this channel because you're already used to that type of stuff. So it's going to be a bit of a different like niche of videos, if you will. It's just going to be basically me Brit Lane in real time with no speeded up footage with no music. Okay, so... I've, I've decided I'm going to separate that type of content because what it is is I've got tons and tons of footage on my laptop, on my memory drives and it's all raw footage from the videos I've made over the years and I don't want to delete it, you know what I mean? I don't want to, I don't want to delete that footage. I want to use it in some kind of productive way. So this is a way of using it. it you might learn from it, you might not. So I'm asking all the people on this channel, if you like that last video which I did, which was just not, no talking and just me building stuff, then hop over to ASMR Brick Lane channel. Basically, ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meriden Response, which is just a basic way of saying relaxing, you know, or soothing in some type of way. Well, I've seen a, f a few comments on my channel like, like this type of video, so I'm gonna dedicate a channel to it. It's absolutely fine if you don't wanna go and subscribe. It's fine, honestly, because like I said, you, it might not be the best to learn from, but it, you can learn just through watching, can't you? So. I won't be talking on it and there'll be no music. So content won't change on this channel either, by the way. Still gonna keep it the same on this channel with tutorials and music and stuff like that. It's just, I didn't wanna create a mix, you know, cause there's a few people like that video and a few people didn't. There's a market for, for both ways of doing it. So I'll use that content, which I've got on my memory drive to, I'll put it to good use. Moving on to the five golden secrets of brick lane. The first one is always keep your faces clean with good trowel technique. Now I'll try and demonstrate this now. Right, we've got our excess mortar we need scraping off, but I'm going to use the tip of the trowel. Okay, we're always using the tip, never the midsection or the base, or the toe of the trowel, should I say. That's the toe, that's the heel. We're always using the toe, and we're actually working with gravity every time we're scraping mortar off, so we're actually cutting and, and, and collecting, or cutting and catching, if you will. So, okay, we're going to... Uh, this is not just a straight cut, we're actually cutting and like trying to catch it as well, so you know what I mean? Like that. The same this way. If we were to like we're starting at the toe and catching again on our trowel. Same, we're always cutting and catching. We're never just holding it and using the same angle, cutting, cutting, cutting. Because it'll just drop on the floor that way. The second key secret in Brick Lange, don't tell anybody this, right? But it's always use what you've previously laid. Uh, I'll try and make sense of this in this little demonstration. The, the concept is you've already set the brick below, so all that's nice and level and plumb. You're just matching up your new brick with what you've already laid. We know that this previous course has been set with our level and our gauge. Okay, so we're gonna use these bricks when we're laying this one. Okay, so the level that way, level this way and plumb. So we know that top of that brick is a level line. If we match the bottom of this brick, the straight line, with the top of that straight line, okay, then we'll know that we've used that brick. Do you know what I mean? We've used this, this edge to level this brick. And you can come back and have a look. Obviously, if you've, you've got one side too far down, you know, that's just exaggerated, but you know, just by looking at that, that it's wrong because you've got a wedge-shaped brick. Yeah, obviously it's the same on this side, okay, as well. So, we're scraping our mortar and we're checking that those two lines are parallel and square. Okay, because obviously again, if we're down too much on one side, we can see we've got that wedge shape again. So we're always using the top of this brick. Okay, we're always using what we've laid previously to line our work in. But that's how we use what we've previously laid to square up and level what we're actually laying. And also you can look down the, the edge onto what you've previously laid. Okay, you can keep it in line with the perps below or the centre of this brick. You're better off in lining it up with the perp really, but you can see you're looking down there to keep that in line with that perp below. A lot to take in really, but you get the gist. The second is basic, it's well known across Brick Lane, but the, the rule of Brick Lane is gauge, level, plumb, range, and that just means 
when you lay brick on, okay, you gauge it first, you level it second, you plumb it third, and then you range it finally. Now the reason why we do this is I'll show in a demonstration. If we, if we plumb it or level it first, and then we check our gauge, and then it's wrong, we have to sort it out, re-gauge it, then plumb it and level it again. So that's why we always gauge first, so we're not doing things twice. Okay, so the rule is, gauge it first, level it, and then plumb it. The fourth one is always think about saving your back. I mean, being a bricklayer, it's quite intensive on your back and your body in general. But any time you can save your back or, or work smart, then try and do that. In this next clip, I'll show you me and Gaz, and I didn't actually know Gaz was doing it, Gaz Speedy. We are actually, we've got a hand on our knees, just resting, just supporting our backs while we're spreading through. And I'll show you that now. Right guys, that leads me on to my last tip now, and that is always wear the proper boots and the correct boots for bricking, all right? Because I've learned the hard way. I bought boots without ankle protectors on, and I had a fall, and I nearly snapped my ankle in two. So always wear the ankle protection ones, you know, but spend, spend some decent money on your boots, all right? Because it'll save you in the long run. Anyway, I hope you learned something from these five golden tips. My dad keeps interrupting me. Yes, he's in the office. Anyway, I hope you learned something from these five golden tips and I hope you can benefit from them. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Again, if you want to subscribe to other channel, it's ASMR Brick Lane. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. I have one. You brickies out there, always keep everything nice and clean as you go along. In front of you, back of you, you'll work quicker. Everything will go right for you. You don't want to be stepping over this, stepping over that. Keep everything nice and tidy, and that's my tip for you, Rickies. Can't help myself.